Welcome to the Queen's University Space Conference 2014. I'm Andrew Rader, and 2013 was a very exciting year in space. Four, SpaceX three, started two, commercial launches. They were delayed in this by the development of their improved Falcon 9 launch vehicle, but they finally get it off the ground in September, launching a Canadian satellite, Cassiope. This exciting mission capitalizes on Canada's expertise in polar orbital science. The Falcon 9 is now delivering payloads to low Earth orbit in the four to five thousand dollar per kilogram range. This makes it amongst the most efficient launch vehicles of all time. Even more exciting is the Falcon Heavy, which may see a test flight in 2014. This rocket would be the largest operational launch vehicle in the entire world. All these activities are essential not only for SpaceX, but they will tell us whether commercial spaceflight can really turn a profit. SpaceX also made their second Dragon capsule supply run to the International Space Station in 2013. And earlier this month, Orbital Sciences joined the ring with their Cygnus spacecraft, making it the second commercial company to fly to the International Space Station. It's an exciting time for commercial spaceflight. Several suborbital companies also made significant progress in 2013. And if all goes to plan, we should see the first suborbital space tourists flying on Virgin Galactic later this year. Mars One started their recruiting process and also began a set of trade studies with Lockheed Martin and Surrey Satellite Technologies that should be able to send the first private robotic space missions to Mars around 2018. I'm a candidate for the Mars One mission and I also wrote a book about why I think it actually makes sense to go to Mars one way. You can find this on my website. 2013 also saw a very successful crowdfunding campaign, raising over one and a half million dollars for the ARCID Space Telescope. This mission would survey the solar system to look for nearby candidate asteroids which may contain minerals or other mining prospects. Planetary Resources is relying on inexpensive small and micro satellites, which may in the long run create a lot of opportunities for Canadian companies. In 2013, we also saw a lot of really fascinating science from the Curiosity rover on Mars. Cassini sent us pictures of Earth from Saturn, very much like Carl Sagan's pale blue dot and the MAVEN Mars mission got off the ground. By September this year, we should have a ton of great atmospheric data from Mars, and it may help us answer the question whether life ever existed on the red planet. And perhaps the highlight of the year was Chris Hatfield's personal rendition of Space Oddity performed from the International Space Station. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on Detach from station and may God's love be with you If you haven't seen his videos, Facebook posts and tweets, I suggest you check them out. I can wait. Hi, Chris Hadfield here and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a midnight snack right here on the surface of the earth. And watch what happens. It just goes straight down, just falls straight down into the bowl. It's amazing. Last year was a very exciting year for space, and 2014 may prove to be even more exciting. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy Queen's Space Conference 2014. <laughs>